This, my friends, is what happens when a rainstorm comes. These are actually primarily red worms, but these worms are so sensitive to the barometric pressure. I just wanted people to know that this isn't always a sign that something is wrong in your bin. Um, this bin is perfectly healthy. This is one I don't usually film, but I will show you real quick. No worms are dying in here. Sorry, it's not great lighting. All right, so believe it or not, even with the lid on, this bin was a little bit dry. So I'm going to kind of show you what I do if I'm troubleshooting a bin. Um, I do think the problem in here is primarily related to the barometric pressure, and there's still a few guys up here on the edges, but they're also really low on food from what I can see. You guys can let me know if you want to see more of this bin in the future, but I just wanted to show that these problems happen to the best of us, and it's really nothing to worry about. There's probably about, oh, I don't know, two pounds or so in this bin. And like I said, they're almost exclusively reds. Um, I'd have to go and look worm by worm, but um, I think these are pretty much all reds, and even them, um, sometimes they will get a bit funny about the weather changes. All the worms can really, you know, they're doing what nature tells them to do and they're seeking higher ground if they sense that snow is snow or rain or whatever. I don't, I'm not exactly sure what we're getting. It's cold out. Um, so the first thing I do is I take the lid off. The lid is going to stay off. And second thing I do, always add some buffer, some grit. This is, um, my mix, but it has a little bit of all that good stuff in there. Then I get them a nice feeding. Um, these worms, like I said, I've had them in here for a while. Um, they can handle a lot of food. So this is three bananas, frozen and thawed. And I'm going to open them all up. Now, if you saw food in your bin and you were having this problem, you definitely wouldn't want to feed. But because there's no food, and I am familiar with how much this bin can handle, that's perfectly safe. Um, the final thing, which is kind of my cure-all for all problems, but it really does fix 99% of the problems you have, is just to add a whole bunch of bedding to the top. So... This is probably a good, I don't know, at least inch and a half, two inches of bedding. I might even add a little bit more. The bedding, since it's dry, keeps the worms from wanting to climb up the walls. And it also adds a little bit of a safe zone and a buffer zone if it's too moist or anything like that. They can move up a little bit. So, it kind of has multiple benefits to it. So um, this was super spur of the moment. I came in here to check on these guys. Um, and this is the only bin for some reason that was giving me trouble. This one and uh, one of my African Nightcrawler bins. But anyway, sorry I'm out of breath. I was running around trying to shred up newspaper and all of that good stuff so I could show you guys how I troubleshoot uh, one of these little problems that you occasionally get in your bins. So again, this is Crazy Worm Lady. I just wanted to give you guys this crazy peek into my uh, Red Wiggler bin that is acting a little funny. I think mostly because of the weather, but we're gonna be taking all precautions. A little bit more of my dry mix on top. And I'll call it a day. Let me know what you think, guys.